Good afternoon. I have been working on these envelopes and I thought maybe I would bring you along to show you what I'm making. This one obviously is in the pinks and I sewed around the edges. The one I'm going to show you today I won't be sewing around because I can't take my camera over to my um, sewing machine. So I will show you how to do it if you don't sew. And these um, pockets will be filled. I'll be making things to um, put inside of them. And then I'm going to sell them in my Etsy shop. So, of course, you got to start out with paper. I'm using music paper. Um, if you want the music to be right side up when you fold it down and right side up on the bottom, you have to have the inside one up and down and the outside one upside down, if that makes sense. That way when you flip it over, the back one comes down the correct way. And I'm going to snip off my edges here, my torn edges. And I'm going to put some, even when I sewed them, I did put some glue inside to kind of help hold it down because I tried one without putting any glue in there and it kind of moved around when I was sewing. So I even put glue on those, not as much as I will on this one, obviously, but I did put glue on those. These just turn out so cute. They'd be good as a little gift to give with things inside of them or to put into a journal with maybe some note paper in for writing on. But Christmas is coming. They would make a great little gift. I love things made with music paper. And I know this is not anything original with me. Lots of people have made these pockets. Sorry, I keep bumping my lamp so my light wiggles. I hope that isn't real irritating. Okay, so there we have that. I'm going to move over so I don't keep hitting that lamp. Also, I'm going to trim that. I see I have a little edge there that that would bother me. I got to trim it off. There. We go. Oh, my goodness, I got it crooked. There, now I think I have all the little ends off. Okay, it doesn't matter if your envelope is not exactly even here. If the underneath one is sticking out a little further, that's okay because we will be covering that up. So let me put a little glue down each side here.
yesterday we had snow, rain and turning to snow and 35 to 45 mile an hour winds with 65 mile an hour gusts. So it's pretty cold. I grew up in northern Minnesota and I could never understand people who went away for the winter. I was like, oh, winter is so much fun. Now I'm 60 and I know why people went away for the winter. I no longer live in northern Minnesota, but I don't like the cold that we get here either. And I don't mind it a little bit, but as I get older, it just seems like the cold gets worse. Okay, next I'm going to put some lace on the bottom part of the envelope. And I liked how the gathered lace looked on it. So I'm going to use some gathered lace. I couldn't find the exact one I used on the other envelope. This looks very similar, but I think this one might be a little bit wider. Maybe not. So I will put some glue along the top here. And then stick my lace on. My husband is away in Pennsylvania. His father passed away, so he went out there for the funeral. And my daughter comes home and says, the car is smelling hot and steam is coming, smoke's coming out of it. And it wasn't just steam from being cold outside and the engine hot. And I'm like, oh, great. So I said, well, I'll... And when the light was showing up that it needed coolant. So I said, well, I'll put antifreeze in there before you go to work in the morning. Do you think I could get that hood open? I could not get it open. I worked and worked and worked and worked at that thing. Never could get it open. So I Googled it. Like, how to open the hood? Because I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I've opened this hood before. Been a while, but... I said, what am I doing wrong? I said, well, I was doing everything right. So I called my husband. He's like, oh, just work with it. I'm like, I've been working with it. And nothing's happening. I never could get it open. I worked with that thing for the longest time. My hands were freezing. I never did get it open. So, it will have to wait till he gets home. I'll trim that lace down in a minute. I want that glue to dry a little bit. Okay, this next part is what is different than I've not seen other people do. And if anyone's seen my earlier videos, I think I deleted them because they were like dark and my table that I was using was shaky and they just weren't very good videos. And so I... Uh oh sorry forgot to put my phone on um, airplane mode. So this next thing that I'm going to do, it's called paper ribbon. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. But I remember making things with it back in the, I don't know, 80s, 90s? Anyway, it looks like a handle off of a gift bag and you can use those. I have used those. And you just unwrap it. The ones on gift bags aren't as thick, so they're, they don't make as wide of a paper when it opens. Which is fine, because a lot of times you don't need a very wide one. Just unroll it. And I love the feel of it and the look, that bumpy paper. I've tried rolling it myself 
see if I could get that effect, and I never do. I even wet the paper and twisted it and rolled it and couldn't get it. But I had gotten this at an estate sale. The lady loved to do crafting, and um, she had passed away, and her family was having, they actually had like three or four different sales. And I picked this up. I do have some for sale in my Etsy shop because they had a whole box of it. And I said, well, I just want a few. And they said, no, you have to buy the whole box. We won't sell it just for it. And when I bought it, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. But now I'm glad I did because I'm having fun working with it. So I will glue this down there. I think I will use my bigger container so I get more out because it's a big piece. Get the dried glue off of there. And when I was in, must have been when I was in college, so that would have been in the 80s that I made that I made this really pretty basket with that paper ribbon. But I just love the feel of it in the junk journals. I've not seen other people use it. If they have, I just haven't seen those videos. So if anyone else is using it, I would love to know because I'd like to see how they decorate with it. Or if you order any from my shop, then I'd love to see what you do with it. I'll glue that down there. And I will glue a piece up here. Like that. I'm going to let some of it hang over the edge. I tried repositioning my camera a little bit, so hopefully I am more in frame. color green is really pretty. What do you call that? Like a moss green? I don't know. It's very pretty. Okay, I'll trim the edges. And I thought everything that I put in these envelopes that I'm going to sell, everything will have some of this paper ribbon on it. Whether it's a tag or a paper clip or it'll all have some of this paper on. I might cut this a little bit at an angle so that the lace sticks out a little bit. Too much of an angle. There. So now we have that and we will decorate it. I'm going to put some flat back pearls on there. I guess I can put my dots of glue all on there. I don't have to wait. Yesterday I was getting orders ready to mail out 
and I was short some little flowers. And so I made tons of little flowers yesterday. So I need to make more because I sold all the ones that I made yesterday. And I have to get back to coffee dyeing paper. So I had so many ahead. And I shipped out a bunch yesterday. So now I need to make a bunch more. That's a good problem to have. I'm not complaining. Okay, got that there. And I thought I would use butterflies on this one. Ah. Don't want to knock that off. So I pulled out some butterflies. Those ones obviously are pre-printed. These are punched from greeting cards, which I have an abundance of. So I was going to see if one of those would look good on there. Oops, I didn't get this one cut straight. Let me fix that. The top and the bottom didn't match up, so I had to trim it. Now they match. Okay. Cheesecloth. Get some cheesecloth and put on here. getting caught on my butterflies. So I'll do some cheesecloth. Maybe a big butterfly. And a little butterfly inside. more of this off. Okay, should I put some beads down the butterfly? Or the pre-printed one, maybe that won't look as good, huh? I don't know. I just love pearls. Butterfly got caught on something. No, I don't like the don't like them on that butterfly, so we will take them off. Let me glue this down. I have the hardest time sometimes getting my cheesecloth to look right. Other people look like they just slap it on there and it looks great. And I'm like, I work with it and work with it and on. Maybe I just work with it too much. I guess I overthink it. And bow, maybe. Since I didn't put pearls, I've got to have something on this butterfly. See how bow will look. That may not look very good either. Ah. Yeah. 
Doesn't look good. Okay, we'll leave that butterfly as is, and we'll put one down here. Cheese cloth. That one blends too much. Wrong color green. That one's not too bad. I like that one. I don't know, maybe I'll just stick with the bottom one. Okay. And we're almost done. In my next video, we will I shouldn't say that. The next video is either going to be starting to make the ephemera to put in here, or it might be the flip through of my blue journal that I finished. Or am finishing. It's not finished yet. I gotta make the cover yet. No, it just doesn't look right, does it? Okay. So there is that one. Very easy to make. And I just love this bumpy ribbon, paper ribbon. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Bye.